Hello and good morning, Ricky. How are you doing today? Well, good morning. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I love the mission you're on when it comes to this new song. <laughs> yeah, it's been, you know what? This has been, um, for me, a long time coming. Um, I had tried for many years to get a television production of about the MMIW. Yes. The missing and murdered indigenous women situation. <clears throat> and um, every network kind of just turned it down. <laughs> um, we got backing and, but nobody wanted, nobody even wanted to touch on the subject. So what happened was kind of got put on the back burner. I still was outspoken about the situation. And all of a sudden, I got with my friend, Mark Warple, who uh, had been involved with me in Blackfoot for many years. And we decided we were going to put together a side band so that when Skinner's off the road, yeah. I can, you know, have something to do, go out and play. Well, then we started thinking about new songs, and I had this song lying around for about six or seven years. And it was actually co-written. Uh, not only did Mark put himself in the song and do some of the writing, but the basic writing had been done between the lead singer, lead guitar player of Blackberry Smoke, Charlie Starr, yes. and myself. <laughs> we took the song. Uh, Mark come down to my studio. We listened to it, and we decided to go forward on this. Then along comes this guy, Scott, who owns um, Rock the Calls Records. that's distributed through uh, Orchard Sony. And he told us what he likes to do was if he signs an artist, puts a song out, that they donate part of the proceeds to a certain charitable call. Oh, man. Bingo. That and set it off for me. Exactly. So what happened, I got a hold of a very, very good friend of mine. It's like a brother. And he is the actor, well-known, uh, not only in countless films, but also lately the Yellowstone series. Mm -hmm. His name is Gil Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Gil plays the tribal chairman um, of, the, of the Indian nation on the show. Well, they had done a segment in the season, I think it was season three. They had done a segment uh, of the show uh, just about this. Now, go back. Gil had done a movie with Jeremy Renner called Wind River. Yes. That was about half a dozen years ago or whatever. And it was about this subject. Um, Gil was the father of a missing and found murder. Uh, indigenous daughter. Mm. So, uh, Gil, I told Gil what I was wanting to do. He said, "Ricky, give me a give me a little bit of time. Let me get a hold of Taylor Sheridan because I know that he donates. Uh, since then, he donates to uh, the missing and murdered Indigenous women movement through a charitable organization." He called me back and said, "The National Indigenous Women's Resource Center." is who to go to that's what we did we put the song out now part of the part of the proceeds will go directly to them also to the dream catchers charitable organization and the national save the wolves foundation wow so there you go we're trying i am trying to make this happen to give back uh, in a great way, you know? Oh, my God. It, th this, to me, is so... It, it's like the great creator has spoken into your heart and, and all, everything is growing from you and it, and it just continues to spread out. Yes, I mean, I, I'm very... You know what? I, I'm so proud and happy that, this, that we're doing this. And we're already looking at doing another song and doing the same thing. Continue... You know, on this journey of, of bringing awareness yes. to a very, very serious 
situation that has gone on uh, for decades after decades after decades, far too long, and no attention brought to it. Right. And that's what really, really gets my, you know, heated up. That's what gets me going is for the fact that nothing is ever talked about it. Yeah, it's not even it's not even on the front page. It's not on the front page. It's not even no, on not page even. six. No, nowhere. You won't find it. But, you know, sometimes, and, and I don't mean anything by this, no disrespect to anybody or whatever, but I was talking to a native buddy of mine, and he said, you know, Ricky, because we are sovereign nation, yep. um, you know, within the United States, that you know, reservations are counted as sovereign nations. It's almost like we're not even citizens of this country. Mm-hmm. And I, I got to thinking about that. And you know what? It's almost he's not, to me, he's not too far from being wrong, you know? Mm-hmm. So many people don't understand the power of Native American spirituality. And, and I think this is one of those moments where, where we can come together as a people and start getting the conversation going. But, but it's going to take a circle of people and not just one person. And that's what you're building here is a circle of people. Well, you know what? I hope that everybody will just look into it, read about it. I mean, it will it will stun you. The statistics of how many uh, older women, uh, middle aged women, younger women, young children uh, that have gone missing and found deceased, and you know, mm, mm. the whole bit. It, it is just horrifying to me. Even growing up in the state of Montana, I mean, they, we didn't read these stories, and yet, and yet, we were right there in the center of the Crow Nation, Blackfoot, Lakota, I mean, the yeah. Arapaho, yeah. and we never heard these stories. Well, it's interesting because I have a, another really good friend of mine, actor friend of mine, uh, was in Wonder Woman, and uh, lately, my friend Don McLarnon's got Dark Winds out. His name. This friend of mine, Eugene Braverock, mm. um, right there from the Blackfoot Indian Reservation, was he's right in the epicenter of it all. Yep. And we've discussed it. And he's told me about, my God, people would not believe how many people have gone missing. Mm. And it just, it's an epidemic to unbelievable proportion. And I hope that this brings somewhat of an awareness uh, to it. And that people will look into it, read for themselves, and decide for themselves, hey, I'd like to donate to these people and help get this brought out in the open. Ricky, have you guys created a website or anything to where people can go to learn more about this? Because, I mean, the conversation has got to be a continuation. Well, you can go straight to the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, and you can read all about it. Now, to donate, you can donate straight to them, or you can go through my website, rickymedlock.com, and that would be R-I-C-K-E-Y-M-E-D-L-O-C-K-E.com, and you can donate through there. Uh, We have, like, merch, uh, right there, shirts and stuff, and all that stuff, every bit of it, goes straight to the NIW. Yep. Yeah. Is there going to be any type of a, of a festival or some sort of where, where people can go and you can you can invite actual, you know, it, it'd be like a powwow. I mean, when we, when we have the powwows down here in the Carolinas, my God, Ricky, right. people come from everywhere. Well, we've thought about this and we've looked into, uh, you know, I'm a member of the Native American Music Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. And we've talked to a, a wonderful person there. Uh, who heads it up, Ellen Bellows, about doing different functions and playing different places to invite people out to listen to people talk yep. uh, that know a lot about it. And you can hear, you know, what they're saying and their speeches and, uh, you know, quoting statistics and how to get people involved. Yeah. So the future's up for grabs, my friend. 
and uh, I'm into it. I'm all a part of it. Yeah, it's not just getting people involved. It's staying involved and staying with the cause and creating the activation. That's right. That's right. Once you get in it, you know, I'm telling you, great things happen great numbers. Yeah, yeah. You know, the greater the numbers, the greater it happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you find yourself maybe talking on Capitol Hill or anything like that and trying to get some sort of hearing going on to bring more attention to this? Well, it's uh, interesting that you say that. Um, I have a very good friend. She's the Secretary of Interior at the moment. Her name is Deb Holland, and she's uh, native, full native. And I have spoken to her about this when the song came out, directed her to listen to the song, to hear what we're doing. And she goes, Ricky, at some point in my schedule, I'd like to schedule you to come up Mm -hmm. and let's get in front of the right people and let this be heard. So stay tuned. Yeah. You know, be heard and be seen. It can't be it can't be that show that's going to play at two o'clock in the morning. No, no. And if anybody wants to check out what I was trying to do, um, I even going back even further. Um, I was doing a I was slated to host and narrate um, a television uh, show called Homeland Nation. And you can find you can find stuff on YouTube about that, and to see that I went all the way back then, trying to get stuff involved and trying to get people uh, to hear me out, you know. So there's always the possibility to resurrect stuff, and all I can do is keep pushing. You do, know. Do you find yourself in a position to where we, you, you see what the, the bitter enemy is, and that is the media? How do you stretch out the coup stick and try to bring peace to that circle? Well, I think it's a very, in my opinion, I don't, you know, the one thing that my grandfather taught me, the one thing that you'll never come to terms with a lot of times with people is when you get in an, into a d- discussion about politics and religion. Yep. And the, the thing is, the political agenda in this country is just, off on another thing. I mean, I would believe that Native American issues is almost on the back burner, yeah. the last thing on the on the totem pole yeah. to, to anybody want to discuss. I know people in the news media and have reached out to them and have yet to hear anything back from them, which I would be glad to go on one of those shows and and have an open discussion. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. So how can we help you continue to have this conversation? I mean, I this, this is one of those things where one podcast is not going to be enough for you and I. It's gonna We're, we're going to have to get you on other things and find out where the people are. Well, I think one of the best things to do, go on the websites, go, you know, and, and go on the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, their website. Yes. Continue to talk to people. Spread the word. If you spread the word, word of mouth is one of the quickest ways to get people's attention. You understand what I mean? I do. I do. It, I do. It's um, and and what I'm doing, uh, publicity wise, I'm getting in front of a lot of press right now. Whether it be printed, uh, whether it be podcast. Or, I mean, I've already done interviews as far over as Europe talking uh-huh. about this problem. Yep. And they are really interested in it. And so uh, all I can do is, for me, is to keep getting in touch with the people I know, keep putting the pressure on to get in front of the camera or in front of the press or news or whatever and talk about this subject. Man, you know, I love where your heart is. Man, you have got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Well, I thank you very much, man. It's uh, a great honor to talk to you. And uh, I understand you are of Cree heritage. Absolutely, sir. Uh, 
that's uh, that's very that's cr- that's great. Uh, very commendable. And we we just have to come together as a community. We've all done this throughout history. We've just got to continue being a, a community. Absolutely, absolutely. Excellent. Well, you be brilliant today, okay, sir? Yes, sir. And you take good care of yourself. Spread the word. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'll get back to you at some point. We'll still have another discussion. Absolutely. I love it. I love it.